In late 2017, Confederate Motors, a high-end motorcycle manufacturer, announced that it was giving up on internal combustion engines. The Birmingham, Alabama-based company also changed its name. In January 2018, Curtis Motorcycles was born with the plan to create affordable but powerful electric motorcycles. Curtis is going after the market aggressively. While the company doesn't plan to begin production of any bikes until February 20, 2020, that won't stop it from taking aim at iconic motorcycle manufacturer Harley Davidson. In a recent post on WeFunder, an investment platform for startups, Curtis CEO Matt Chambers calls Harley's Livewire bloodless. Chambers writes that Livewire was, quote, created under false pretenses, like a marriage commitment made for a green card instead of genuine love. He says that because Livewire is designed to get people interested in the company's gas-powered products, Harley won't achieve full electric motorcycle potential. Now, while Harley's new electric bike concepts did disappoint the masses, the company was taking a shot at the urban mobility market. And while it looks like Harley is launching electric Vespa competitors, Curtis is offering luxury electric motorcycles. Until recently, a Curtis motorcycle, like the Zeus or Hades, would typically start around $75,000. But four days ago, Curtis unveiled the Psyche, which starts at $30,000. The live wire is $29,799. According to another post on WeFunder, the company wanted a, quote, machine built to the highest standard of Curtis quality, but at a price relevant to the Harley Davidson live wire customer. According to Design Boom, the skeletal Psyche will have two power options, 48 or 96 horsepower. The bike will weigh approximately 375 pounds with a range of about 160 miles per charge. Curtis is initially focusing on the California markets before broadening to the entire US and eventually other markets around the world. So far on WeFunder, the company has raised nearly $400,000 from more than 200 investors with a minimum of 1,000 per investor. The opportunity to invest via WeFunder ends today, July 30th, 2019 at 11.59 p.m. Eastern. I'm David Manti. This is IEN Now.